This will be a demo on how to configure PTP using IX Network in the NextGen framework. If you click on ports, you note that I already have two physical ports added to the config. Next, I'll click on Scenario. And going to the far right, you want to expand the Minimize Scenario. And if we scroll down to the Timing and Synchronization, you'll note that there are a few templates here that you can choose from to get you started. We're going to choose this one, the IPv6, which is from one master um, to ten slaves. So you click and hold and drag to the cloud and release. It's going to build this configuration. And you see the configuration is now imported. Uh, for this demo we're just going to do two slaves to simplify things a little bit. Okay, and now what I want to do is assign my topology, the P2P configuration that we imported, and assign it to ports. So I'll select a port, do change ports, and I'm going to say select ETH1 to that configuration and assign to select it. Okay, and OK, and we'll go to the other port, change ports, and ETH2 to that, assign to selected, and OK. And we we'll go back to the first, I must have missed it, change, ETH1 to the configuration, assign to selected. OK. So now we have a physical port assigned to both. <coughs> uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and start the scenario. You know, both topologies will come up starting with the ETH stack, then the IPv6 stack, as long as um, they can resolve to the gateway or in the, then the same network segment. And also the P2P master slaves also came up. Okay. Now when you um, want to make changes to this configuration, you can either click on each stack individually and change the configuration here. You see the two ETH stacks. I click here, the IP stack for this side and for the other side, and also the PTP stack, the configuration, and you note the tabs down at the bottom. You can go one by one or all and uh, scroll through them. And on the PTP slave side, same thing. You also have the option to view uh, each combined stack together. So if I click on the left under next gen on Ethernet, here's all the ETH stack information for both topologies, and IPv6, IPv6 config information for both topologies, and PTP, same thing. Okay? Alright, uh, so PTP is up, and you noted here, um, okay, master, and uh, let me scroll to the right so you can see all the various configuration options. Uh, if you've ever used the classic framework, um, it's just like going through the wizard, you can also make changes after the fact um, to all of the settings. Okay, let's go to the stats. Uh, there are two stat views in the NextGen framework. If they're not available, you click select views, and right here you see both. So you select those and click OK. Okay, the PTP per port, we see we have one active and two active, and all of our uh, counts for messaging, all of our stats. Okay, you can scroll through that. Uh, and then if you go to the PTP drill down, uh, initially what you'll see when you start this view is this. Uh, it'll be uh, three buttons in the middle, and you can basically just click on all statistics, and it'll bring this up. Okay, you note that it's refreshed every so often. So if I, it's a, taking a snapshot of the current states. So I can click refresh here. This is from a previous test that I did, where I had a master, uh, two masters, on both ports, two on this one and one on that one. So I'm going to click refresh, and I get the current uh, states. So you see the master and a slave on each. Okay and you can scroll through and 
take a look at various things. The port identity, grandmaster identity. Um, okay. And that's a basic configuration of PTP using the IX Network NextGen framework. Thanks for watching.